Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about After We Collided. After We Collided is an hour and 47 minutes long. It is a romance drama. It was released in the U.S. on video demand and in selected theaters on October the 23rd. It is based off of the book of the same name, which is written by Anna Todd, and it is from the After series. Now, this one, unlike After, is rated R. And yeah, I know that was one of my main issues with the movie from last year, that it was rated PG-13. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you rated PG-13? There was nothing... In the book, there's nothing PG-13, nothing PG at all. If you are new or you haven't really been with me from the beginning, um, I did do a review for After, which is part one. And from my understanding, actually, I believe parts three and four have been confirmed. Um, I think part three might be in pre-production. Now, I was really hoping that this series, from how it's going, would be kind of like the Twilight series versus movie would be like the worst one and yeah i think so i really wasn't a fan of twilight i love all the other uh, movies i was not a fan of after i actually enjoyed after we collided i mean is it great no it's not great it, it has its flaws but but compared to part one yeah i truly enjoyed it way way more if you never heard of the after series but you more than likely have heard of 50 shades just know that this is kind of like the PG version of Fifty Shades of Grey. There's still a lot of sex involved, but it doesn't have like the hardcore, you know, like the hitting and stuff that Fifty Shades does. But um, I just want to pre-warn you that in this movie, the relationship between Tessa and Harden, which are our main characters, is very, very toxic. A very toxic relationship. Never gonna trust me. Trust you? Where is that? I know that that may not be for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and just start off with one of the newcomers, which is Dylan uh, Sprouse. He does play Trevor. When I did see him in the trailers, I was like, oh, this is exciting. Um, he did really good. I mean, for the short amount of time that we did get him within the movie, because obviously he doesn't have, like, a huge like part. I know within the book, we do have, like, that love triangle, but I don't really feel like it was too much incorporated within this one i wonder if it's more in the third part honestly you guys i don't remember the books all that well because i i remember bits and pieces of it i need to re-listen to them and i am going to because i really really tr uh, truly enjoy them trevor i mean he had a lot of funny like little one-liners i don't really remember him being that funny in the book to be honest with you Y'all can correct me down below. One of the main issues though that I did have with the movie was that we didn't really get too much quality time between Tessa and Landon. And you know, in the book, that's like a major thing. Her best friend and that, you know, us not really getting that within this movie. I think you know, Landon only had like a, one scene, I think. Tessa was actually staying at um, Harden's dad's house with Landon. Landon is Harden's uh, stepbrother, for those of you who don't know. And they totally didn't have that within the, the movie. I feel like the sequel didn't skip around and didn't like leave a lot of open gaps as the first part did. If you have never read the book or listened to it if you're an honorable lover like me, don't even watch the first part because you're gonna be super lost they leave so much out of that fucking movie you guys like it's ridiculous how much they leave out in that nine day breakup that they have when they were going through their things they didn't really go too much into it it was like a tiny little montage but they were so much more that was involved within those nine days that was not involved within the movie. One of the things that I don't think I mentioned in the uh, last review was that we are based in Washington. I wonder what it is with these writers basing all these type of movies in Washington because, you know, Twilight was in Washington, Fifty Shades was in Washington. Also in Fifty Shades, Anna was also in publishing and um, as is uh, Tessa. Tessa is also in, in publishing, so I thought that was kind of funny. And of course, they're always going kind of to Seattle. I mean. Yeah, Anna went moved to Seattle and so does Tessa. Tessa eventually goes to Seattle and then Bella, she well, she just, you know, becomes a vampire, but I think they traveled yeah, they traveled to Seattle for the dresses as well. So I just think it's kind of, you know, funny that we have these three type of 
almost similar kind of movies because I mean they're always all within these kind of relationships that are probably not the best for them and they're on Washington. The newcomer is Charlie Weber who does play Vance. Uh, he's actually who plays Frank in How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, we don't really see too, too much of him but we do get one yeah just one scene with him and Hardin and that's just kind of Vance helping Hardin out with Tessa but other than that we really don't get too much of them uh, together and um, I know some of you are probably like okay what's the point of that once we do get further within the book I can't remember what book it is but they we do find out something huge about them so I'm not gonna of course spoil that for anybody who's never read the books, who has no intention of reading the books, but are fans of the movies, reveals will come at some point. Now, since I am talking about Vance, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate Smith, who is his son. Now, I did really enjoy that scene with Hardin and Smith, which is also incorporated within the book. I wish that we did get a little bit further within their relationship, just because, again, Dad does play more into it once we do get further within the series also if my recollection was correct when they babysat they didn't babysat in the office when, weren't they at Vance's house when he did that but it's where it goes we were in the office for some reason so Candace Keene uh comes down in this movie as Kimberly which is Vance um assistant well ends up being fiance and my sister right away was like I love Candace and I'm just Okay, I don't know who that is, but she's from uh, Vampire Diaries. She plays Caroline, which I didn't know because I never watched Vampire Diaries. I thought like the first season. The things that I did like that they incorporated within this part was Hardin's nightmares and those flashes. That is a really important part within Hardin's story and why he is the way he is. Um, and Hardin's mom, I don't know the actress's name, but I think she actually did really, really great. Some people may actually have a problem with the ending. Personally, I mean, yes, it does leave it with a huge cliffhanger, but if you've read the books, it is the exact same way. And it still had me, when the movie ended, go like, oh, even though I knew that that's how it was, well, I mean, I figured that's how it's going to end. Shockingly, I'm giving it a medium popcorn rating. I, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed it way more than I did the first part. Maybe because I don't really remember the book too well for me to compare it to might be also why but my sister also really enjoyed it as well we both agreed that this part is better than the first part in our opinions if you've seen after we collided let me know down below what did you guys think about it? did you hate it was it just not for you if you've seen the movie have you also read or listened to the book let me know down below like what are your thoughts about the movie i know again it's not for everybody because it is a very 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 toxic relationship with that said before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye